Welcome back to the video darkroom. I'm going to show you how you can create this YouTube environment using a green screen and OBS. It's simple, it's inexpensive, and it's really flexible. So let's get started. I run my business from this timber cabin style office that is just behind my house. If we go inside, you'll see that it's not big. It doesn't have a lot of space, but it does have this wall behind where I sit where we can put a green screen. To make a simple and inexpensive green screen, I've used this green cloth that we can mount using a simple curtain pole that comes in sections. We can assemble the curtain pole together and then once that's complete, we can thread the cloth onto it because it's got a loop along the top. And I've added these little brackets onto the wall so that we can mount the green screen onto that it's a fairly simple procedure. It's really important that the green screen remains taut and flat. So I just added these simple pins that are also green so that they don't show up to pin the cloth to the, the back wall of the office. And this is how it looks when it's all in place. Rather than using a mirrorless camera, I'm simply using this Logitech 4K webcam that sits in place on top of my monitor. And to be honest, it does a great job. So let's get into OBS and see how all this is set up. First of all, OBS Studio is a free application that runs on Windows and Mac. It allows you to mix various video and audio inputs and apply effects to them. Okay, so we're in OBS and you can see the OBS layout. Let's have a look at that. The main screen here is called the monitor and that shows you what's either being recorded or streamed at that point in time. And then we have a number of other panels that are here. There are, first of all, the scenes and scenes are basically the setup of what it is that you want to record or what it is that you want to stream. So let's just switch to a screen recording here and I've got a Premiere application loaded and you can basically see Premiere there and I can record my demos using the screen recording facility. The screen recording facility can either be recording a complete screen, a monitor. Um, I could pick my Samsung external monitor or I could pick my laptop display. Or alternatively, you can pick a particular application window and record that. And that's actually what I'm doing here. I'm recording the Premiere Pro application window. And then thirdly, I have mine set up so that not only that, but I can put myself down in a little box down in the corner so that I can be talking while I'm demoing the application. And that sometimes is useful. But let's go back just to the full screen record with no webcam. And I'll take you through the interface. We've mentioned the monitor section, which is the biggest section by far. Then we have a number of other panels. For these other panels, you can move them around if you wish to. So I could just pick up this panel and move it, for example, to here. I can make it a little bit larger. Uh, and so you can you can put them wherever you want on the screen. Let me just put that back where it was. That's it back to its original location. So we have a number of scenes that are here and then we have for each scene we have a number of sources. Now sources might be like an audio device or a video capture device or an image or a video that you want to play. Anything like that. There's a wide variety of things that you can add in as sources. And then the whole concept of OBS is that you can mix those together on screen whatever way you want. So for example, when I had the screen with the webcam um, on it down, and I'm down here in the corner, you can see down on the sources that I have um, display capture here for the, for the application. And then I have on my Brio, you can see that I've put it in a window that's down on the, on the right hand corner. And I, I could move that around as I wish to. Let's just go back to the full screen recording. Next to that, we have the audio mixer and that shows you your inputs um, that are here. I have my microphone, my Marantz microphone, and you can also record the desktop audio as well if you wish. And you can control the volume of those. When you change scenes, you can control how you want that transition to work. And there are a number of different 
types of seam transitions that you can add, but I'm not going to go into those at the moment. And then finally, you have the controls where you can start or stop streaming, start or stop recording, all of those kinds of things and control all the settings. So that's basically the interface to OBS. So let's look at how to set up a webcam and put the green screen capability in place. We're on scenes and we're going to create a new scene by just pressing the plus key and we can just call it demo. We now have a demo scene and there are no sources on that scene at the moment. So we need to add some. So the first one I'll add is my microphone. So that would be an audio input capture. If you've used something before, you can add an existing one, which we'll do just in this case. I'll just add my microphone to it and that's added. And you can see that the microphone is there in the audio mixer and it's showing up the levels that the microphone is receiving. Let's now add on a video source, which would be the webcam. So again, I'll click the plus, And in this case, we're going to click on video capture device. I'll just let it be called video capture device. I'm not going to pick up the existing one because that already has all of my setup incorporated in it. So let's set it up fresh and clean without anything in place. So I click OK on that and it comes up with the various options. I can look at my integrated webcam uh, or I can look at the webcam that's on my external monitor. There are various other sources that we could use. So let's say OK to that. It's loaded it up by default and um, pretty small image up in the top left hand corner. But I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to properties. So here I'm going to scroll down on this and not accept the device default, but I'm going to go to custom. Once I've chosen custom in this case for my webcam, I can pick the resolution that I want. And in this case, I'm going to take 3840 by 2160, which is the 4K image from my webcam and there you can see it displayed on the monitor screen of OBS. That's all I'm going to do at the moment. It's matching the frames per second with the output. That is what I'm actually recording. So that's absolutely fine. So let's just click OK on that. And now you can see the default webcam with no adjustments made to anything at all. We need to apply the green screen effect to this. We do that by clicking on filters. We're going to add a filter in this bottom section, which is the video section. The top section is the audio section. So I'm going to add a video filter to this. And one of the filters that shows up is chroma key. So I'll select that. Just let it be called chroma key. No need to give it a different name. And you can see instantly that the image has gone to black where the green screen is and where the green screen is not. It's showing my image through on that. So just accept all the defaults there and close that down. When you have something on the monitor, you can change the, the scale of it. I can just pull that across to the side and pull that across to the side so that there's no worry about anything outside of the green screen appearing. And we've got it done, but it's black in the background. So what needs to be done is that we need to add an image to that. So I'm going to just click on the plus sign again to add another source. In this case, I'm going to add an image to it. And I'll just add one of the existing ones to save me looking through for something. So I'll pick my standard video darkroom image and select that. Select OK. The image comes up but you don't see the camera. And that's because the camera is lower down on the list of sources than the image. So I'll just pull the image down below the camera and now suddenly you can see the cameras at the front and the images at the background. We could add other images to this if you want to have alternatives. So I'll select the plus sign again. I'll go to image. I'll add existing. And in this case, I'll take my business company image, the CBZ Media virtual background and click OK on that. Again, it's added in at the top, but I'll drag it down a little bit below that. And you can see now you've got my CBZ Media one. For each source, there is a little visibility icon, the eye that's here. And if I 
uncheck that, you can see that it, it's not showing that particular source. It's now showing the vid video darkroom virtual background. So basically, we've done everything that we need to do in order to show how this works. Supposing we want to show this over and above the web capture that is there, what I can do is I can add another source in here and let's make that a window capture. So I'll add an existing window and make that the Premiere window and say OK. Instantly, you see my um, Premiere source. It's not absolutely filling the screen, but I could make it fill the screen by just enlarging the image slightly. It's covering up everything else. So let's move it below the video capture device. And now you can see I'm overlaying that. If I select the webcam, which is the video capture device, I could now change the size of that down and put my image down at the bottom here. And so we can put that just wherever we want it. If you want to crop something, you, you can crop in by just holding down the alt key and so you can move that around but since we've got the green screen working you can see that everything behind me is transparent and it's only my image that shows up over the top of any of the other sources that are below it that has shown you all that you need to know as far as using a green screen with obs and you can record that or you can stream it and that enables you to fairly easily make your YouTube videos with whatever kind of background you want to have. I hope you find this useful. I can go into more detail on OBS uh, and setting up a green screen and all the things that you may need for that. If you're interested in any of those things, then drop me a comment and I'll make a video on that and link it in in the appropriate place in this video. So thank you for watching this and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.